I think the biggest thing about Castle Stewart for folks that are coming to Scout and are coming to the Highlands is a great golfing experience. Um, it's not just the golf course, um, you know, top 100 in the world. It's a little bit of a design uh, ethos that's different than others. Uh, it's tested the best in the past with four Scottish Opens, but it's playable for the rest and that your 18 handicaps aren't going to come out here and, and lose 18 golf balls. They're really going to enjoy the round. There's, there's a lot of memorable holes, uh, you know, starting uh, right, right from the get-go. You know, you walk down to the first tee and you come in behind the, the first tee box and you've got the Firth to your right and the Keswick Bridge, uh, you know, looking at you as well. And you're playing these coastal holes that are right down along the beach, the drivable par four third. You've got the castle uh, on the fourth. And I would encourage, uh, encourage anybody that's coming over to get on YouTube and check out the shots that Phil Mickelson hit, uh, you know, on the third. And then again, here on the 18th behind us, the par five, you know, his winning chip that he had in 2013 before he went on to, to do the double at Muirfield. So, you know, the professionals have their memorable moments. And then, uh, you know, but the great thing is, is that again, you know, your 16 handicapper has plenty of opportunities, have memorable moments as well. Uh, the drivable 16th very often plays downwind and even from the, the kind of you know the green tees that most players play from it's 320 but it plays 320 down breeze and you can run that ball in right to left and uh, even even your 16 and 18 handicappers have an opportunity to go out there and make eagles and, uh, and make memories and that's what this game is all about you know having fun making memories with uh, with good friends.